Yeah, what map do you guys want? Four. Okay. Look, have fun, gentlemen. Here we go. How much better is a 0.1% player versus a top 5% player? We shall see. So on attack, we've got Ice Cold, number one collegiate player. Uh, he was MVP in collegiate. He also is a champion player. We got my friend Toad. He's a uh, you know diamond three, diamond two player. Bro, what is Josh talking about in chat? So one of them's clearly distracted. So we'll see how this is gonna unfold for them. A little bit concerned for uh, the collegiate star here. He doesn't want to play against an LMG. That's unreal. No Thunderbird for you. Thunderbird, I understand. Uh, Thunderbird's great operator. SMG backup, AR primary. Stupid. Back Feels like a dumb ban. A ban Ella. He's gonna play Mira or something. And Ella. Ella's annoying in 1v1s, bro, because you can just put the traps anywhere and then, you know, just rely on that intel. It's actually kind of annoying. And Josh also is kind of like renowned for just playing Ella shotgun. So, like, that's why I went Lamau in chat. All right. So we're going to have Ice Cold, the champion player, starting out on attack. Toad starting out on defense. So we'll see. Toad's already locked in, bro. He's already picked Valk. Josh does not know who he wants to play, man. There we go. Josh picking up Twitch for the one time. Toad's going to be going top floor first. So see how he holds this. Attackers. See where these cams are going to be at. One for trophies so far. Josh, the smart thing to do would be to keep his drone outside. Outside. Okay, or not. He's already thrown away his drone. And that's kind of significant because that means quite literally half his drones are gone. He only has one more drone. 30 seconds of doing nothing. Well, bro, you wasted your drone. <laughs> like what? What does he expect? So Toad's actually gonna opt to reinforce Adam. Honestly, the first thing I'd like to reinforce would be the two gen walls. Those two here on the left. Keep an eye out for op four attempting to defuse your bombs. Spawn Street. Oh yeah, is that how we're gonna play? So, honestly, Josh has a lot of time. He's like, normally when you're playing Siege and it's like a 5v5, you, you like the three minutes actually isn't that long because you, you have like, uh, on attack, you have to get like the wall open and then like get some picks, clear the site, all that. All he's gonna do is kill one person. So two minutes, three minutes is a lot of time. He's gonna creep up the stairs. It looks like Toad has no idea. Toad has no idea right now. Toad is not ready for this. Nah, Josh got this in the back. Oh my God, Toad with the 180. Dude, Josh had it in the bag. Push it on flashbangs, right? Uh, four eliminated. Wow. Mission successful. Wow, he's running in a corner, dude. How depressing. I know Josh is beating himself up about that one, bro. What a bitch. That was... He had it literally handed to him. The game is played so much more differently when you're uh, in a, like a 1v1 scenario versus it is like a 5v5 scenario because you don't have any of the utility behind you. You don't have any of the, like, the drones in front of you for attack, stuff like that. You know what I mean? I feel like sight cams are not very useful. I feel like I definitely should have brought impacts or something. Yeah, this was a mistake. I hope he's not sludge or buck. Josh knows what the site is. He actually got his drone in the building. This time he actually does only have two drones. So I, I messed it up last time saying Five he only had two. This time he actually only has two. So he needs to really conserve these. And so far he has. Done a good job of that. And Toad is going to opt for this. Um. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that's going to do for him, but all right. Are you ready to talk to Ice Cold's best option here is to take Kitchen because he's got the rotate here, um, but he can just nade this because Toad's on Valk. Josh has two nades. He's also not currently playing in Kitchen. This is 
If Josh knew this, yeah, he's gonna join it right now. This is perfect. So as soon as he sees no one's actually in here, he should rotate and take that. I have a stalemate now. This is an easy nade kill, I'm telling you. Yep, and he knows that. He knows that he's gonna stick the nade. Perfect, this is perfect. Yep, what I say? Let's go. Easy nade kill. Don't even need to take the gunfight, man. Suck my balls, Tim. Nah, bro. The nade. Oh my god. Nailed it. Absolutely perfect. That's what I meant. His best case scenario to take that site was going to be kitchen. Because if uh, Toad plays in kitchen like that, easy nade kill as he's Valk has no nade denial. And uh, if he's not playing in there, it's an easy plant. So that was a, a solid move by Josh. I was getting a little bit worried that he was going to push meeting, but thank God he didn't. I, I feel like that would have been a little bit bad for him there. And we don't need him throwing two rounds now. Defenders protect so we see Toad hopping on... <laughs> Hopping on the uh, Aruni, the Aruni reflex suppressor. Um, all right. And then I guess Josh is going to stick on the, uh, what do you call it? The Twitch. Uh, he has no nades this time, which uh, is fine. Although I wonder if he has smoke grenades because Toad's actually on Aruni this time. So if Josh runs out of drones and doesn't have smokes to burn the Aruni gates, that's actually going to be a major problem for him. He's gonna have to take the like, what is it, like 30 or 40 HP hit. All right, Josh is pinging to his uh, non-existent teammates. Needs the five points, 10 points. Honestly, Toad's in a great spot this round because he's got all of the arena gates on the major entrances. So he really doesn't have to watch that much. So he's kind of, he's kind of funneling um, Josh into certain entrances, which is nice. Wait, wait, did he? Wait, did he miss drone? Okay, I thought Toad snuck by that drone for a second. Nah, nah, bro. He's right. Look where Josh is. He really had to shoot that with the Twitch drone. Come on, man. Oh, can you imagine that? Oh my God. This is a crazy stalemate. Oh, he wasted a smoke grenade. No. Okay, that means he, he only has the one smoke grenade left, which I... Should be fine. But he didn't use it to burn an Aruni, which is a little bit scary. Aim at something, Toad. Aim at something. Oh, it's on cams. Oh my god. Okay. He honestly probably should have barricaded that, uh, that door at Freezer or reinforced this. Toad did the right thing if you were like in a rank stack like Toad opened up the um the wall there how it's supposed to be but low key like when you're in a 1v1 scenario like this having the least amount of angles to hold is probably better so he probably should have just maybe reinforced that and then placed a, a Rooney on the freezer door which he did um and that would have funneled him through the door and I think that that would have uh saved his life there so now we've got Josh on defense and he's playing who I'd be playing, which is Malusi. Because as you guys know, I always say Malusi is great in 1vx scenarios. So, <clears throat> he can basically stop Toad from uh, pushing wherever he wants him to. Or at least getting an audio cue for it. Because the problem when you're in 1v1s like this is you saw exactly what Josh did. Josh just crouch walked around and he snuck up right behind Toad. Without Toad hearing him. But now... Josh will have those ice, uh, those, um, those sound cues, right? So, Toad shouldn't be able to sneak up on him. No way, this kid plays Malusi, man. Uh, I guess it saves you some drones. You could just locate the bomb instantly. Kind of smart. Yeah, so Josh has this Malusi on white, so he won't even really have to worry about that. He has this setup pretty much exactly how I'd set this up. Although he has like two Banshees. See on the store, I would have had the other one a big window personally, but set up pretty well. See what Toad's up to. So I don't know what Toad's doing, but he's like checking the basement and, and all this. I guess he really thinks Josh is going to be roaming. 
And I have like no audio on the drone. I don't know why. <laughs> so it seems a little bit lost. Like he doesn't really know where he wants to push from. See, there's that audio cue I was telling you about. LMG is going to come in handy here though. Keep refiring. Keep refiring. Oh my god. <laughs> no way Josh won that, bro. Oh my god. Nah. You got to win those, bro. You, you got to win those as Toad. I can't lie. Oh my god, Josh went Clash. Okay, Josh was not supposed to go Clash, but that's fine. Um, I kind of wanted them to go no shields each, but I honestly, maybe it's not such a bad thing. Josh is up 3-1 right now. This could be the last round of the entire game, and he doesn't really have a gun. He's got the SMG, but I'm guessing Josh is starting to do a little bit of a troll. So we'll see if that comes to bite him. I think Toad's gonna go straight through this wall. I'm feeling it. He's got he's got bunker cleared. He's just staring right at this wall. I could see it. Yep, he already knows there's no holes there. No one's playing here. He could easily hit that and just rush straight into sight. Yep, he's already spawned here too. I think that's exactly what he's gonna do. Pistol out, he's going fast, definitely. He's not even taking the time to clear the default cams. Josh is still barricading. He knows this is clear. Yeah, Toad's going for this, bro. I thought this was secure. That's why Josh went clash. He thought it was secure area. How is he four or five rounds deep now and he thinks this is a secure area? Josh is nowhere near this. Josh didn't even hear the sledgehammer. Oh, and the door's barricaded. That's why he didn't even hear it. Oh, this could be bad. Oh, this could be really bad for Josh. Oh yeah. No, why did he have to shoot? It's all good. Toad's got nades. Got nades. It's easy to win. This is easy to win. You gotta run up a melee, bro. Oh, yeah. He's backed into a corner, man. No way Toad loses this, bro. No way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, bro. Josh deserves that, man. Going clash in a 1v1, dude. He deserves that, bro. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm not about the whole shields thing. When it's a 1v1, you gotta respect your opponent, man. Who's bringing out shields in a 1v1? Josh deserved that. I'm happy Toad won that round. Still match point, though, so Toad could, uh... Could lose this all here. He's gotta win one more to get him onto OT. He's got a, he's got attack too, which is is a little bit harder in my opinion. I prefer defense just because I can kind of barricade everything up. I don't I don't have to worry about like where the other person is because I can just go off audio cues because they're forced to push me at the end of the day. Both players are really liking Valkyrie. Oh, what's interesting is I don't I'm not seeing them go on cams. They they like keep picking Valk, but they won't go on cams. I'm not like quite sure what the deal is that. Actually, this is pretty smart that Toad picked up Ace because. Uh, Josh saw that he was sledge and opened up the site because uh, it was soft. And now he went ace to counter that because he had a feeling Josh would reinforce everything. So that's pretty smart by, uh, by Toad. Ten seconds to go. I don't know what Josh is doing with these uh, 360s. Five seconds left. How is Toad just here? He's just in the middle of the wall. The like what? Little does he know there's a drone just literally on the other side of the wall that he's looking at. So Toad has opted to push small tower this time. Maybe he was thinking of pushing hatches? Sounds like. My drone can't get out. You have located a bomb. All right, a little bit of a stalemate now. See, the problem with Toad pushing Freezer is he's kind of got to peek this door unless he opens up the wall. Oh, and he's scaring me with this. Yep, and there it goes. Josh picks up map one. There you go. All right, here we go. Map two. Josh took home the first one on Oregon. So we're going to try to go to Coastline and see if Toad can't pull it back. I'm interested to see what the bans are because I felt like they trolled on bans last time. Like they were banning like Ying and stuff like that. I wasn't re even really sure why. I uh, like the defense bands I understood more, but not so much the attacks. Let's see what they do. Jackal. Yeah, I can understand that. That's Toad's ban. And for Josh's ban, Zofia again. Okay. I mean, I get it. He doesn't want to play against the Zof LMG. I respect it. Um, unfortunately, there's so many other LMGs that really doesn't matter, but I still respect it. I feel like if I play Mira, 
he's gonna play Mira, but I also feel like if I don't play Mira, he's gonna play Mira, so. They both played, a, played her a lot, so, and Ella, I'm guessing, yeah. Okay. So these bands look a lot more, uh, or like, I guess they make a lot more sense in the last game. I didn't understand the Ying band and all that, that was weird to me. They don't have much time to pick. The pick phase is specifically pretty short. That way they're kind of like forced into who they want to play quickly. So Josh is going to be spawning Ruins as Osa. And Toad's going Penthouse as Echo. Echo is interesting. Call this the shock special. All right, let's see it, Josh. Let's see, you better not, better not discredit my uh, my Osa plays. So I'm interested to see where Toad puts these cams at. I think he's going Echo to like make up for the Valk ban. Um, I just don't I don't remember seeing him check cams that often Maybe he did but I don't know Josh looking for the site Toad's trying to drone hunt him. He actually oh he actually would have got it if he kept looking So I want to know what the shock special is gonna be is it, is it just cuz he's playing Osa like I don't know uh, what's he gonna do? Uh, he can hear the drone. He's got a drone under that. I think it's behind the suitcase. Is it not? Yeah, it is. You can literally see it. Toad, you saw the drone. <laughs> All right. Toad's trolling. Josh is sprinting up CV. Toad's a little bit lost. Here we go. He needs to get on that echo drone. Josh doesn't see the echo drone. All right. This is good. This is good. Attackers have located a bomb. Oso is so strong in a 1vx though, I, I must say. Wow, Josh played it wrong with the shield though. There goes, let's go. Okay, that is not the jo or the the shock special, bro. I'm offended that he just called that the shock special. And he walked in, allowed himself to get 50 of his HP removed by an impact grenade, and then his feet shot off. That was, see, if you were shocked, you would have won that, bro. Nah, dude. Nah, I can't believe he can't be naming those kind of plays after me, bro. That was awful. <laughs> As Osa, you cannot let 50 of your HP go to an impact grenade like that. If the impact grenade lands in front of you, it does like five damage. It doesn't do uh, it doesn't do 50 like that. So he let the impact grenade get behind him. It's a good play by Toad, admittedly. <laughs> this guy, bro. Josh is Josh is trying to claim that this was just uh, him letting him get Toad get the freebie. So we'll see. Does he not have impact grenades? Or do they take them away? I haven't played Alibi in like two years. He's got a shield. Fair enough. <clears throat> Come on, Josh. Bro, I don't want to see Josh on, on Osa ever again when he's pulling plays like this, man. What's Toad doing? Running around like a maniac. Low key? Josh might get this here. Oh, yes. Melee hole, melee hole. Hmm, he's already gone. What are you doing, bro? He already knows that's not the real alibi. He saw the skin. All right, so we're a whole minute in now, and neither of them have made contact with each other. I don't think they really have a, a good idea of where either of them are. I think definitely Josh knows a lot more than Toad does right now. Actually, that wasn't a bad wall bang. Um, it just, he just wasn't there. Woo, let's go Toad. That was a nice shot. Oh my God. Wow. So all I'm getting from this is that uh, Ice Cold needs to hop off of Osa. I think that's kind of what I've figured out so far. All right, bro. All right, bro. All right, bro. My bad, I guess. He's supposed to be Almost 5% better. So, so this is Toad's last defense. Ice Cold has decided to forego the Osa and pick up the Ash, which is probably a good idea. As we've seen, he's clearly not the Osa player. His win rate was significantly higher off Osa. So I think it's drawn pretty well there. I don't know what Toad is doing. Oh, there we go. Unfortunate. Where are you putting the shield, buddy? On the door. Okay. Attackers are heading out to the this is an box. interesting shield, to say the least. Um, Don't tell me Ice Cold's going to play in the Ruins. Oh, I'm so disappointed. I hate Ruins players. 
All right, well, there goes the shield. So all that for nothing. Oh, he actually almost had him with the wall bang there. Can you imagine? Dude's reinforcing mid rounds. Okay. This is this is Ice Cold's last drone. He needs to conserve this drone, or he's he's done. He's have to go in blind. They're playing in predictable spots though so far. Oh, there we go. Finally, Ice Cold is able to pick up his third attack round. Thank God. Now they're gonna swap uh, sides. Toad's gonna be on attack now. So we're gonna see how differently they play this. Wow. So they're actually gonna do the exact thing that each other just did. So Toad's gonna pick up Osa and Josh is gonna pick up Alibi. Interesting. So this is gonna be the battle of uh, who's the better Osa player. I mean, honestly, it's probably gotta be Toad. After what Josh showed us with his Osa, Osa plays, there's just no way he's he's taking it home. Like forget who's finding forget finding out who's like a better player between like the top five percent and the top zero point five percent. I want to know which of these two is the better Osa player because I I'm a little bit salty that Josh is naming his plays after me and then he and then he's 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 dying like that, bro. All right, so Toad's already down one drum, uh, so that's not good. An alibi outside, yeah, that'll get him. Yeah, he didn't even spawn on that side of the map. I know Toad, and I know Toad loves his main entrance spawn. So, oh wow, he's he's going in crazy. He's going in fast. Toad's not playing around right now. He's going in loud too. He don't even care. He's pre-firing everything. Oh, he's he's got the cam though. Yep, he knows. I I like how Josh always pings whenever he sees him, or like he pings the utility. Ooh, ooh, he came in. He came in. Josh, what are you looking at? Oh my God. <laughs> no way, bro. He literally stared at him, man. That just came down to the ammo count, honestly. If uh, if he didn't have 51 bullets, uh, I don't know if he would have had that there, to be honest with you. They kind of, they kind of both trolled. <laughs> I can't lie. Like Toad was whiffing all his shots and Josh is blind, bro. That guy needs to head to the eye doctor. I guess uh, that one's on me. That one is just simply on me. I can actually understand knock. I don't understand them. Well, I guess knock has nades. Um, we'll see if the well my does anything here. I think that's probably just a comfort pick by Josh because I don't see why he would bring it. I like I, at least personally, I prefer just operators uh like Thunderbird or Malusi or like a Rooney when I'm in one v ones. I don't care so much about ADS uh, ADSs or well mys. Okay. Why does he have a suppressor on this? Dude, he's such a troll, I swear to god. <laughs> Five seconds left before insert. Well, Toad's already doing better. Um than Josh was on, on attack because he's actually saved his drone. Which is good. Defender exposed. So I think Toad just saw that on the cam. So this time Toad needs to go in a little bit quieter than he did before. Cause if he's gonna I think he wants to go in through C V. I think he wants to go up the stairs. If he breaks this window, it's gonna make a lot of noise. Oh, Josh knows. Yeah, he's already on to him. This can, Toad could take sight then. I guess Josh can rotate back pretty quickly, but yeah, Toad misses opportunity. He could have rushed sight. All right, looks like they're just gonna end up taking like pure one-on-one -on -one gunfights again. If you push this, like you kind of have to just take the gunfight. Ooh. Wow, nice shot. That's the number one collegiate plays we were looking for. So the one I actually ended up working out for him. That was a clean one tap too. Very nice. Um, yeah, I feel like I I here's what I feel like. I think if Toad went Osa that round and went knock the previous round, things would have went a lot differently there because you saw the round where Toad was Osa. He walked into Aqua. But Josh saw him on the cam. If he was knock and he was crotch walking with her like scanner on, he never would have saw him. Would have been an easy kill for Toad. That round, that last round, if he was Osa, he could have walked in with the shield out and he would have been just fine. So a little bit unfortunate, but he's going to stick on knock again. And Josh is going to opt for um, the Banshees instead on Malusi, even though those Wamais actually did help him out quite a bit. 
All right, that is not a great Malusi, I should say. Listen, Josh being a champion player, he should know how to place his Malusis. Toad can just shoot that from outside the door now. Those are those are actually really good to shoot because people can like hide their drones in there. That was smart. All right, let's see the Toad POV. Spawned in ruins. I'd like to see him actually pull off this um, the knock gadget here. What's, what's funny is that like low key, Nox gadget is like crazy good in a 1v1 scenario like this because uh if he goes quiet enough like Josh will never have any idea bomb located by attackers all right so toad spotted him out here you actually can't nade him there's no, there's no ADS, no am I. So this could be an easy nade, and, and Toad's gonna go for that. He could easily bounce a nade off the bomb chassis or something. Hmm. Ooh, wow. Hello. Listen, Ice Cold is ballsy for holding the same angle. He swung, and he held the same angle. Normally, you want to reposition after that because you're gonna get pre-fired. So props to. Props to Josh for winning that gunfight there. All right, so that throws us into OT. So uh, we're going to have, what? Toad stolen attack. Sticking the knock. Okay. So they're both going to stick the same operators. Josh is going to go back down to kitchen. Toad's going to stick the ruin spawn. So uh, it looks like Toad's... Oh, never mind. I was going to say, it looks like Toad's AFK, but he's not. Uh, Josh actually reinforcing in the prep phase instead of in the middle of the round like they've been doing. Pog, you love to see it. Toad might get his drone destroyed here. Yep, there it goes. All right, that means Toad has one more drone. So if he's going to try to do anything uh, sneaky, he only has one drone to do it. I just really want to see a round where like Toad can pull off the knock gadget, man. Because he clearly he likes knock. I really want to see him pull this gadget off. I want to I want to see like something like that first round when he was Osa and Josh is on the cam. I, I wish he was knocked that round, man. That would have been so nice. Because you rarely get to see Nox Gadget really used, I feel like, so. Oh, this is scary. Oh, <laughs> yo, what an impact grenade. My God. Oh, you people underestimate those, those impact grenades. They actually do crazy damage. Uh, Toe just threw an impact grenade at Asper. Okay. No, you ain't, you ain't being that sneaky. You're not that sneaky right now, bro. <laughs> Let me tell you. Loki though, this is a uh, the site's free. If if Toad can drop down and take service or something, the site's free right now. Nah, uh, Josh. I thought Josh didn't go for a floor bang. So I mean, that's actually that's actually good because he got he got Josh to rotate off of Sunrise, uh, and move over to service, which is nice. So now, I think. Toad's in a lot better position than he was. I don't... He's throwing his nades at a lot of nothing. I think it's because he's out of drones. Wow. Dude, Ice Cold is on top of it, bro. My God. Yeesh. I think Toad's not utilizing his nades properly. He threw the nade, like, at vase for no reason, even though, like... Josh was shooting through the floor at him, so I don't know why he did that. And he just threw like another random nade when he's on cool vibe. So I don't know what he's doing. Looks like Ice Cold might do a rush here. He's, he's on Amaru, Toad on Thorn, which isn't going to stop anything because Thorn can just take a millennia to detonate for no reason at all. I really wish they took like two seconds. Yeah, like it's so hard to get a kill with them. Oh, wow. Toad's, uh, Toad's penthouse too. And from what I've been seeing of Toad play as well, he likes to roam a lot. Like... Neither of them really play the site that heavy. They kind of just, they like play wherever and they just like rotate based off where the attacker is pushing. Now, Ice Cold can use this to his advantage. If Toad's going to roam, he could easily Amar rush it through Penthouse window and just have site for free. Unfortunate. So I don't think Ice Cold knows where Toad is though. I don't think he actually saw. Kind of a banger thorn trap, I'm not going to lie. Oh yeah, he spawned, he spawned right for the window too. I want to see it happen. I want to see it happen so bad. Yes, yes. Oh my God. Let's go, Toad. All right, all right. Four, four. Bomb 
Bro, why is he doing back in sight so fast? Alright, 4-4. Four, four. It's getting close now. Josh gave him another freebie. Um, we gotta respect it. This could bring us to map 3 though. So, if Ice Cold wants to lock this out, he needs to do it right here. This is his last round to do it. Or we're going to map 3. Okay, so, uh, let's Attackers see. Code's picking up Sledge. Bomb. And... Ice Cold's gonna stick on the Malusi, which has been working very, very, very well for him lately. So, uh, I understand that. I would like to see Toad utilize his nades a lot better this time around, as well as his drones. I feel like it was a combination of him not using his drones um, properly and not using his nades properly. If he had drones before he naded, then he would have known what to nade. But he wasn't really using his drones. I think he wasted his, his first one, and then like he just didn't use his other one last time. He was like kind of throwing nades at nothing. And like... Really, you can really underestimate nades when you're in a 1v1 like this. Because if, like, right now he knows, like, he's got no ADS, no Amai, easiest nade kill of your life. All you gotta do is drone. You don't even have to take a gunfight. It's so free. All right, so they got an eye on where each other are. He, again, Ice Cold's not playing on the site. That's what I was talking about last round when Ice Cold went for the Amara rush. Something I've noticed a lot of them do. They don't really play the site. Code's going in fast. He could just go straight through VIP right now. Ice Cold's not even I don't Ice Cold's flicking out of the dots. Nah, bro, he's playing a name trainer right now in the middle of a 1v1. Come on, man. Toad throwing random grenades again. That's one nade down. If he wall bangs that window. Toad's actually in a really good spot to win this right now. I'm not going to lie to you. There is a Banshee in the hallway. So if Toad wants to go in through theater door, he's going to have to take out the Banshee first. But he's only got one more nade to do it. And he just has sight, like I said. Uh, Josh is still off sight. If Toad would just drone this, he would know that everything's clear. I think Josh knows. He's in sight now. Yep, this is this is a smart play by Josh. Ooh, that barely missed his head. Oh my god. All he needs to do is bank a nade off the door frame. He has a nade left. He could bank it off the door frame right on the theater. Door right there. Wow, Toad locked it out. Let's go. All right, so it's 1-1 one, one right now. <laughs> wow. I don't know why Ice Cold never moved. I mean, he almost died like five times in that wall bank. GG's. Nah, he's mad about it in chat too. Well, they'll have to take it out on uh, on map three, I guess. All right. Josh is uh, very, very upset that uh, he lost that round to, to a wall bank. But hey, that's that's kind of just how Siege is. And that's kind of why it's uh, a difficult game to, to prove you know, who's better in. Because it's, it's just not a game like COD. It's not something where it's just aim. And there's so much more to the game. So it's so difficult to try to say that like one person is better than the other. Just based off of like a one time 1v1 or whatever, right? Because there's just so much more to it. That like you really, you really can't get anything out of it. You know, you can't get any useful information from it. But with that all said, map three now. We're going on the villa. They're still arguing in chat. Looks like we're probably going to have the same bands as last time. Toad likes his uh, Jackal and Ella, and I don't know, Josh likes Zofia at least. I don't know what he's going to ban for defense. Probably Valk, maybe. Yeah, so it looks like we'll have the same bans as last game. Yep. Oh, actually, this time he went out for the Malusi ban. Interesting. So that's uh, that's pretty smart by Toad. I respect the Malusi ban because Ice Cold won a lot of his rounds with Malusi. Pretty much all his rounds with Malusi. So it makes sense. Take him off that. Uh, if he does want to play an MP5, though, he's still got Rook and Doc. So if he's playing it for the gun, he's still got that. Uh, if he wants the utility, he can still play Ella, which is basically the same thing, just a worse gun. And he's also got a Rooney to play as well. So he's got some options. Uh, Josh does. It's like he'll get auto picked on a Finca. Toad's running the Thorn. Going to Aviator first. Uh, predictable. The one thing to note here is that since Toad's on Thorn, never mind. I was about to say he's not gonna have anything for rotates, but here he goes with the shotgun. So. Did not expect that. Um, I guess it makes sense because he's got the SMG. Not what I would have done personally, but okay. All right. I'm not... I, I don't know what's happening, bro. This is wild. So, Ice Cold's drone's already gone as well. So, he already has... He, he spawned in with one drone. Thorn shot. Alright, man. I think I can get more red than that. Locate and defuse a bomb. God. In ranked, the first set of holes you made are fine. I don't like the holes into the bar wall. 
Um, and ranked those are normally fine, but the problem is that like he's got a shotgun and it's also like a 1v1. You don't want to like expose yourself to more unnecessary angles, especially if you're on defense. If you could just isolate the amount of angles there are to hold, uh, it makes it a lot easier. So what he's done here is open up the entire site and he's a shotgun, so he can't even really defend himself. So I like sure he's got the C7 secondary, but that gun sucks long range. All right, so Josh has no drones now, um, which is not good. Although he still does, he should have a gone six and the two nades left. So, oh, he's going close, he's going close. Wow, I'm actually so surprised. The shotgun ended up working out. Dude, you gotta, you gotta give it to him. That's impressive. That's really impressive. I was not expecting that to work at all. I was fully expecting Ice Cold was going to swing, study bow, swing those uh, holes in the wall and just rip them apart. But dude, you got to give it to him. That was that was crazy. Okay, so it looks like Ice Cold's had enough. He's going line now. And <laughs> nah, bro, Toad's got to... Dude, Toad's stream sniping or something, man. I'm not even streaming, but this guy's got to be stream sniping or something. Because he went vigil to counter the line, bro. There's just no way. Toad is literally ahead of the game, man. Anything Ice Cold does, Toad's one step ahead of him, bro. This is wild. Like what? Nah, man. All right, he's gonna be opening that, reinforcing in the middle of the round again. I don't know why he didn't just reinforce from the start. He like, he only reinforced one wall. Okay, interesting. Early Josh heard that. Like, there's no way he did not hear that. Science scan going out doesn't matter because he's vigil he can just keep moving around wow i honestly that's crazy to me that he uh he picked that he picked vigil the one time he picks vigil in all three maps is the one time ice cold goes lion Ooh. a little bit of damage there he's gonna go for the drone hole kill oh this could be bad for toad no oh my god oh ice cold's getting aggressive now he's had enough bro I don't know. I, I, I'm so kind of. I believe in Toad on this one. Oh my god. Nah, bro. They're both on the ground. They're both on the ground. <laughs> what are they doing? I can't, I just still can't get over the combo. The, the the counter they had there is incredible. Well played. Well played. That was a, a little bit of a scary engagement for, for Ice Cold there for a little bit. All right, so this time we're going to see Ice Cold on knock. Interesting. I don't think we saw him play that before. We're seeing Toad play it a lot. Toad's going to go in Goyo. Attackers need don't to locate quite understand what he's going to do with this. I mean, I guess it makes sense. I, I would just rather go with Rooney, though, I feel like. I don't know. Maybe he just, he just wants to play with the back there. Yeah, you know, it's a comfort pick. I was not trying to have another one of those uh, wall bang fights, so he's going to reinforce that off. Josh is going to throw away his drone, potentially. All right, where's the second shield going? Here we go. All righty. Let's see how those shields work out for him. He opened up these windows. Uh, if he spawn peeked this, he actually, it actually would have been crazy. He would have killed him. No, 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 no. Imagine he just repels straight into this. Oh, my God. Oh, free, free nade kill. Free nade kill. Oh, yeah. Oh, it barely missed. Ah, oh, you gotta get out of here, Toad. Oh, he's gonna jump out. That's not what I meant by get out of here, bro. What? No, nah, by get out of here, I meant get out of the room. He just, just, oh my God. I guess he got out of the room. Yeah, that, that is entirely on him. He actually could have killed Ice Cold two different times. The first time when he repelled up, that was the freest kill of his life. And then when he jumped out, that was that was the second freest kill of his life. So that, that's funny. Ice Cold pulling out Vigil. They both love Vigil on this uh, map. I'm not sure why. Toad's on Finca. I love the Finca. Finca's such a good operator, especially for 1v1s, man. Like, if you don't get headshotted in your first engagement, you can heal straight up. You've got the Gon6, the LMG, the nades. I mean, it's just amazing. Uh, Toad's just AFK here. I'd at least be trying to get my drone to spawn somewhere where I can pick it up at least, you know. Maybe he was AFK. 
locate a bomb. All right, so Ice Cold's gonna spawn peek. Uh, Toad's nowhere near, so this is not gonna do anything for him. Where is Toad going? Did he repel 90? Oh, he doesn't have the gone six. Okay. Uh, I mean, that's understandable. It is a 1v1. He's got the shotgun? What? Nah, bro. Toad is a menace to society. There's no way he's got the shotgun. And, and Ice Cold's where? Nah, this could be bad. If he rushes straight into B, he can't go 90 hall. Oh, never mind. Josh went here. 90 hall is free. Nah, Ice Cold wins this all day because he's got the shotgun. Literally can't push that. He's got to go in when Josh reloads. That's the only way he wins this. Oh, yeah. Here we go. If he pushes door, maybe. Oh, he's too far. Toad's actually playing this pretty well. If he nades this right here, be smart. He's going to take sight. That's smart. This is really smart. Oh, he has no idea. Josh has no idea. This is really smart. Oh, he... Is he going to plant? I don't think he knows. Oh my god, that was so close. Oh yes. No! Yes! He has no idea. Oh no! Bro, can you imagine if Toad rezzed himself there? Oh my god. That would have been awesome, honestly. Alright, so Josh is going to head back to Trophy. Wow, again. Uh, we have the Vigil and the Lion pick. We were not seeing this at all last game. So that... That's just crazy to me that these guys are picking up Lion when they're running Vigil. Um, I mean, it's lit literally a direct counter. I don't know what Josh is doing, bro. Oh, wait. Josh has the boss G. Okay. And he's going to practice his quick peeks for no reason. I I'm going to tell him to stop leaning. Ten seconds to go. Five seconds to insertion. I had to tell him to stop leaning. It's cringe. He just keeps doing it, okay. Attacker's objective is to locate a bomb. Alright, so Josh is gonna try to spawn peek with the Bosch G, but Toad spawn on the other side of the map, literally. So So what is Toad's plan? Like where where is where's Toad at? Hold on. Where's the Toad at? There he is. So he's gonna go in through this window? Okay, yeah, but see, it doesn't matter. Like it's so funny that they're bringing Lion right now. Because they've just, everyone, they're all, they're both bringing Vigil on defense. So the line's literally doing nothing. <laughs> like, it's actually crazy. Uh, Ice Skull has no idea he's coming up 90 right now. This could be really good. Attackers have located a bomb. Oh no, he knows now. Don't get Bosch deed. Don't get Bosch deed. Wow, let's go Toad. There we go. Toad's picking up his second round of the game. I would have been a little bit concerned if he lost to a Bosch G. I don't want to see. All right, we're moving on to match point now. So, or yes, we've been on match point. Uh, Josh uh, can win this at any time. So, Toad needs to win one more if he wants to bring it to OT. We can play Bosch G. What do you mean we can? Okay, so I guess Toad's going to bring it to Bosch G now. Uh, does Josh? Josh also has the Bosch G. Okay. So it's going to be a uh, boss G battle, I suppose. I guess they're just doing a little bit of trolling. Five seconds Josh, you have an impact grenade, by the way, bro. <laughs> like, this this could have already been opened. So it looks like Toad's going to push over my bathroom master. Josh doesn't know about this yet. He's still worried about 90 because that's where Toad pushed into last time. And a doe could be call. Which is good. That means Josh basically can't hear anything right now. Ooh, that impact grenade. Ooh. They were just barely about to see each other there. Ooh. To uh, Josh got the first shot off and Toad got the headshot. All right. OT. Let's go. He is bandit barbed wire. Okay. Interesting. I would have just went someone else. If he wanted barbed wire that bad. Toad is rocking the, the boss G looks like still. Josh is not the last round was a was a fun round because they both ran it, but now Josh is a gun that shoots like isn't it like 980 RPM or something ridiculous? Or maybe it's like 700. I have no idea. And then Toad's got a gun that literally shoots one bullet at a time. So this is gonna be interesting. I guess he is the SMG 12, but bro, that gun sucks so bad. Like that gun's actual ass. 
All right. So Toad's going to be trying to drone out here. Did he not get default? He's like confused. Gosh, he's going to try to check camps. He's got to hear that window break. Yeah, he heard that. Attackers have located a bomb. Ah, uh, bro, what? Is he going to repel on the smoke grenade? No way he repels in. No, he's going to jump out. He's going to jump out on him. Oh, and Toad won. Oh my God. Nah, bro. You've got to win that. He baited that so hard. What a play by Toad. Oh my God. The bait, the 300 IQ bait. He said, you know what? I'll repel into the winner below me. So he'll jump out. Oh my God. That was literally 300 IQ. Jesus. All right. This is a, uh, this is a uh, match point for Josh. This is map three as well. So this could be it right here. The top 5% player could beat out the 0.5% player uh, right here, right now. Collegiate superstar, ice cold, <laughs> might lose to Toad. That is funny, bro. That's funny. Toad's not a bad player by any means. It's just funny. Josh is AFK, bro. This guy don't even care, man. That's, that's the reason he's losing right now. There you go. Come back. Josh got a lock in, bro. He can't be, he can't be getting baited like that, man. He said, I'm just mind blown. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would put a shield on the study door. Okay, that's just gonna get ash charged. I don't know if it's just me, but I hate ADSing with that gun, uh, that ash charge, like rocket launcher thing. I can't stand it. I can't see. All right, so Ice Cold's gonna push the balcony. Um, so this is just gonna end up being a gunfight. Then this is quite literally gonna be a one-on-one -on -one gunfight. Honestly, Ice Cold has the advantage. His gun is just simply better. He's also got a 1.5x. Um, so yeah, close range though. Toad will have the advantage. Toad's going around. I don't think Ice Cold knows. Uh, he does now. He shot. That's really smart by Josh. Yeah, Josh is locked in, bro. I can see it. N none of them have tried planting this whole time, which is really interesting Attackers to me. Have located a bomb. Oh, he thinks he's in study still. Ooh. All right, Josh taking a little bit of damage. He's gonna actually try to, oh, he baited the plant. Let's go, 4-4, four, four. all right. So Josh is not quite ready to quit yet. Going to 4-4, four, four. we'd love to see it. Oh man, uh, that ash charge was uh, a big problem for Toad there. If he reinforced the site, that would've went over a little bit differently. So I'm interested in seeing whether or not Toad has the boss sheet. Yeah, oh no, he doesn't. Okay, he's got the DMR, that's smart. Um, either way, DM, DMR or not, he's got to, he's got to go up against Ella, who is a very fast fire rate and very high mag capacity. So this will be interesting. At the same time though, it's like two or three bullets and, uh, Josh should be dead. So it looks like Toad's going to play a little bit slower this time around. He's actually going to drone out upstairs. Um, Ice Cold just wants to play Sight. You can tell, you can tell Josh is a little bit worried about losing this right now because he's actually playing Sight. And normally we don't see them play on the site. So it looks like he kind of reinforced it a little bit. He set up his mine, set up his shield. He's going to try to play a little bit more reserved, a little bit more passive. Um, which is actually a good thing. Ooh, it was almost over right there. Oh, it almost had it with the wall bang. That would have been crazy. Not where I would push from personally, to be honest. I don't know. I don't. I wouldn't push from memo here. I feel like it's kind of difficult to push because Ice Cold could just play this right here, and he also just put a, another Elamine there. This is not looking good for Toad. Uh, if he watched through this door, he surely did. Yeah, this is just a scary angle to fight. There's so many places to look at if you're Toad. Ooh, he saw him for a half second through the bomb there. Yeah, see, there's there's the angle on the left of the bomb and the right of the bomb here. And then he could peek anywhere else as well. This is very hard for Toad to win. Ooh, taking a little bit of damage. Toad refuses to give this up, though. If he, honestly, if he holds that pixel peek, he might have it. Oh, oh, Toad won! Oh my god!
god wow ggs in the chat i actually cannot believe toad won that wow just wow i thought for sure that ice cold just pulled that out there a million percent i was about to say and there goes ice cold got the win he just said it. it's unbelievable how he gets away with this yeah let's let's go in for a post game interview hold on yo gentlemen let's have a uh, little post game interview what what happened there josh what happened in the ends man it's so stupid how idiotic this guy is and it really works. really no. Around. I jumped out the other window. Like it just it doesn't make sense. No, if if you thought you got you baited, bro. Fake out repel was nah. small brain. You gotta hear what I what like I meant to do. So I was waiting for him to throw a nitro, that's why I threw the smoke, and I was like, he's probably waiting for the repel cue. So I broke the bottom window to to make the repel sound so that you would nitro and then you jumped out. Mm -mm. That that was the thought process. Right. Uh, Oh, interesting. Well, GG, gentlemen. Uh, so it, it just goes to show, though, right, guys, that like, even though you're like a higher rank than someone, it doesn't always mean that you'll win the match. There's a lot of differences um, in skill between the two of you. But it's very difficult to demonstrate that in a 1v1. You both agree with that, yeah? Yeah. 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 I, mean, I wouldn't have gotten away with half that in a 5v5. Yeah, exactly. Oh, no, you can't exactly. Control alibi recoil, I can. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you should have won it then, Josh. You should have won it then. No, no. I, I, I definitely can. Do you want me to just keep beaming the middle of the shield? Because that's what I was doing, and then you stood up. Bro, you let the recoil fucking control. I had to, I had to let the recoil go because I was beaming the middle of the shield. All of Josh's POV is gonna be is him molding, bro. It is, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That one time you killed me and then you like pulled out your revolver and kept shooting me. I was like, he's so mad. Alright, well, I think it's time to wrap that up now. <laughs> 1v1 and I 